just when you think the creature and the legend may have died down, some new eyewitness accounts pop up to remind you the story is still very much alive. Once the video goes viral, it sparks wild internet speculation about fire-breathing dragons. Scientists may have found direct evidence of a dinosaur that died in the immediate aftermath. Oh my god, look, look at, at, that. at that. Look, the oh scales are preserved. While it seems highly improbable that these animals could still be around, uh, there are many sightings and accounts, and I, I think we can't totally rule out the possibility. Mysterious, captivating, and awe-inspiring. Uncovering ancient creatures and unheard tales provides a window into the long-forgotten history. That is a nice tooth. Why they gotta eat though? Look at the tip broken off. And this time, get ready to dive into the barely discovered land of Canada that will leave you shocked. Strange creature. Although just images, it was the weird features of the animal that forced me to add this video. The weird looking creature was discovered by two nurses hiking near a creek. Their dog, Sam, found it in the water and they quickly took photos of this odd 30 centimeter long creature with a half turned face. Speculating several theories, the video has the internet divided, with some calling it the legendary Ogopogo or the mysterious Chupacabra and others claiming it to be a soaked bear cub or otter. Which side are you on? Let me know in the comments below. Dinosaur Mummy Now this is something really epic. In an Alberta oil sands mine, Sean Funk, a shovel operator, was just doing his regular job when he stumbled upon something extraordinary. What does that say about this area when it comes to the number of bones here? He discovered Alberta's oldest and one of the most well-preserved dinosaur fossils in the world. The moment it reached the Royal Terrell Museum, Don Henderson, a dinosaur expert, realized they had something truly special on their hands. It wasn't an average fossil. It took about 7,000 hours over five years of meticulous work to extract it from its rocky prison. And it was all worth it in the end, because this dinosaur mummy was so well preserved. This 110 million year old find isn't just a piece of history. It's a glimpse into a prehistoric world. Sasquatch Sight Even though we might not have seen a real Sasquatch, we all have heard of it, that's for sure. But if you haven't, watch this one. Based on what I see there, I believe I can dismiss the possibility that this was something other than a Bigfoot. Because of the twisting movement of the creature as it gets up, and the very faint hourglass outline of its body between the upper torso and hips, which appears to indicate a Bigfoot rather than a bear. I do not treat this as conclusive, but my best guess is that the family showed us what happened without any attempt to deceive us. What do you guys think about it? Massive T Rex remains. In 2006, fossil hunters made an unbelievable discovery, a perfectly preserved Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops horridus locked in a battle from 67 million years ago. And you know what? The Canadian Museum featured it for the general public. Well, 65% of the dinosaur's bones were found, including its head, jaw, and spine. It gave a rare insight into the life of the Mesozoic era's mighty beasts. This one specifically is known to have been of a Tyrannosaurus who was 13 meters long and weighed nearly 20,000 pounds. Having lived for 30 years, it was not only the largest, but also the oldest T-Rex ever discovered. This creature is wowing everyone at its first public appearance, opening a window to Earth's amazing dinosaur history. Real Woolly Mammoth in today's digital age, even the smallest show can go viral on the internet, and this discovery has really shocked the whole world. I mean, capturing a real woolly mammoth on camera with such a good quality is something really unexpected. Well, if you're also one who doesn't believe in their existence, go ahead and watch this. Shocking sight, isn't it? Well, do you know these woolly mammoths went extinct almost 4,000 years ago? So finding such a rare species at such a place is actually really shocking. Megalodon Tooth 
Imagine going for a walk and stumbling upon the remains of a prehistoric monster. Yes, I'm talking about the notorious Megalodon. Because these guys here discovered its tooth by the side of a river. They were searching for crystals along the Nechako River when one of them stumbled upon something extraordinary. There is definitely something big in here. The girl spotted it at first and thought it was an agate, but it turned out to be a massive tooth half the size of her palm. That is a nice tooth. Why'd it gotta eat though? Look at the tip broken off. Sharing their find on social media, they were amazed to learn it was likely from a megalodon, a gigantic prehistoric shark. This exciting discovery connects us to a time when these enormous creatures, up to 65 feet long, ruled the oceans millions of years ago. Bigfoot Skull we all have heard of the ever-famous Sasquatch or Bigfoot, and even though we might not have seen a real one, a famous wildlife explorer and celebrity named Coyote Peterson found the skull of one that roamed the area a long time ago. He was looking to find an insect hive in the Bigfoot hotspot of a forest in British Columbia, Canada, until he came across a gigantic skull, which many believe may belong to a Bigfoot. When Peterson found the skull, he at first thought that it belonged to a bear, it is a bear! It is definitely a bear skull! Holy mackerel! But upon further inspection, he realized it was something else. Holy cow, dude. That... that is not a bear. A Bigfoot skull, probably. What do you think about this weird discovery? Let me know down in the comments section. Baby Woolly Mammoth This miner named Travis Mudry made an amazing find in Canada's Yukon. He was working when he found a baby woolly mammoth named Nunchoga, perfectly frozen for 30,000 years. This was a big deal because it's the most complete mammoth ever found in North America. When experts saw it, they were really excited. But this mammoth is more than just an old animal. It brought together the local people, miners, and scientists. They all came together to learn from this discovery. It shows how finding something so old can help people understand and connect with history. Shipwreck found in Canada. This all started when two filmmakers shooting footage of invasive mussels in Lake Huron found a 128-year-old shipwreck from 1895. On the morning of October 4, 1895, a cargo ship departed from Ashtabula, Ohio, carrying coal over Lake Huron to Owen Sound, Ontario but it didn't make it. What's really surprising is that we can see this ship so well underwater. This is because of tiny creatures called invasive mussels. These mussels are not originally from the lake and can be harmful to the environment. However, they also have a unique ability. They clean the water, making it very clear. So even though these mussels are not good for the lake, they help us see this amazing shipwreck cleanly. Franklin Mystery Resolved Researchers up in Canada shared some shocking pictures of an old shipwreck, and it was really well preserved. When I researched it, it was revealed to me that this shipwreck is a big piece of a puzzle about a famous trip to the Arctic that didn't end too well back in 1845. That's the one where the well-known explorer John Franklin and his crew had a really tough time. The ship's wheel was still as if steered yesterday. They took pictures of bottles, maybe once filled with rum, and plates from the Last Supper of the doomed crew. These ships, the HMS Erebus and Terror, embarked in 1845 to conquer the Northwest Passage, but instead met an icy fate. Now, secrets locked in a desk could unravel mysteries of their final days. It's not just a wreck, it's a chapter of history, frozen yet alive. Arc Fragment This time, explorers discovered what seems to be quite unique. They discovered an arc fragment created by Bruce Beach in Toronto, Ontario. A man named Bruce Beach was so worried about a nuclear apocalypse that he went all out and built his own ark to survive it. 
he was convinced a huge disaster was coming. So in the 1980s, he bought 42 school buses and hooked them all up in Horning Mills. And just like that, he created the world's biggest private fallout shelter. This mega shelter can fit around 500 people, enough to wait out the aftermath of a nuclear catastrophe and emerge safely. Now, if anything crazy happens in the future, we know there's a place to go. Garter Snake Pit At the Narcisse Snake Dens in Manitoba, Canada, a wildlife spectacle like no other unfolds each spring. This area, designated for wildlife management, becomes the arena for an extraordinary event, the mating ritual of red-sided garter snakes. In the spring, you can see the annual mating ritual where one female is surrounded by up to 100 males to form a mating ball. Another thing is that you're allowed to pick up and handle the snakes by yourself. Don't worry, as these tiny garter snakes are not venomous, and the little teeth they have won't even break your skin. This natural event offers a unique, hands-on experience with one of nature's most fascinating rituals. Bean Puzzle Tombstone this man stumbled upon a century-old puzzle hidden in a cemetery. That's what happened in Russia's cemetery, Wellesley, Ontario, with the Bean Puzzle Tombstone. Erected in 1867 by Dr. Samuel Bean for his two wives, this headstone became a local enigma due to the cryptic message. It remained unsolved for generations, until a breakthrough by 94-year-old Miss Florence Duar, who decoded the message, which was, Reader, meet us in heaven. This discovery turned the tombstone into a symbol of human curiosity and intellect, intriguing many visitors. Shipwreck in Lake The locals noticed something really eerie in Lake Ontario, Canada. When they looked closer into it, it was revealed as a shipwreck. As word spread, the discovery captured the imagination of people far and wide. The internet buzzed with excitement. It was as if everyone had found a personal connection to this underwater mystery. This shipwreck, now a viral sensation, isn't just a pile of old wood and rusted metal. It's a story waiting to be told. A journey back in time. So, what secrets does it hold? Share your thoughts in the comments. Fairies Forest Growing up, many of us adored the idea of fairies in an enchanted forest, and two Canadian brothers brought this fantasy to life. The area of the forest was specifically given to them for farming, but they chose to instead create a fairyland. They transformed the woods with vibrant, miniature huts, evoking the charm of an animated world. The forest is now adorned with over 400 handmade fairy tale figures, colorful hand-painted gnomes, and Canada's tallest treehouse. This project, which began as a retirement pastime in the 1950s, became their passion. They spent their final years living in the treehouse they built in the heart of their fairy forest. Frozen Hotel it's often said that this band is playing at the coolest venue ever, and it's literally true. Despite being made of ice, it warmed my heart. This ice hotel stands majestically outside Quebec City, Canada. Each year, it operates only during the chilly months of January to March. Yet, it's a magnet for tourists from around the globe ever since it first opened its doors in 2001. A dedicated team of around 30 workers and 15 sculptors come together for six weeks annually to create this magnificent icy wonder for its January debut. And not only that, guests are also treated to an array of intricate ice sculptures and carvings, adding to the charm and wonder of this unique frosty retreat. Moving Island have you ever felt the earth moving under your feet? Well, here I brought for you an entire island that trembles. This place has the strongest ocean currents in the world. There's an island here called Turret Rock, but people also call it Tremble Island. It's called this because it seems to shake or dance when the water moves around it especially when the tide changes. The powerful current, roaring at a staggering 16 to 20 knots, makes the Pacific Ocean's might felt. Hey, 
It's a place where thrill seekers tie ropes to trees and water ski on nature's own roller coaster. Screaming Tunnel In Niagara Falls lies a haunting relic, an abandoned railway tunnel. shrouded in spine-chilling whispers and the echoes of a ghostly legend. It was a place known as the Screaming Tunnel, where the brave and the curious venture to test their mettle. Don't make fun of her. It was also rumored that one young girl got lost within these damp walls, whose spirit lingers there even now. And that's her screams which people hear. The locals and the visitors alike are drawn here, challenging themselves and each other to confront the chilling screams said to reverberate at midnight. All right, now poets. <laughs> what are your thoughts about it? Is this really true, or just those never-ending horror tales? UFO spotted. If you still think that we're alone in this universe, then this video might prove you wrong. I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh. What the hell? Renowned astrophysicist Stephen Hawking believed in the possibility of alien life, and it seemed he was not alone in this cosmic curiosity. UFO reports are still a thing. People are reporting them in greater and greater numbers every... While most sightings have logical explanations, one sighting left even scientists puzzled. I mean, this triangular object witnessed by 10 campers in Quebec stands out, and even scientists have no explanation for it. This incident sparked a debate online. Are we truly alone in this vast universe? Or is there something more out there just waiting to be discovered? Monster Fish These two first-timers at sturgeon fishing didn't just hook any fish. About one hour in. One hour, seven jump. They encountered a colossal 3.4 meter long and a 700 pound sturgeon. Woo! <laughs> like a creature from ancient tales. In simple words, they found a real life river monster in the upper Fraser River near Lillooet. It was an epic encounter with a being that seemed to be very fictional, leaping dramatically from the water. They possibly made history by encountering what could be one of the oldest fish in the river, estimated to be around a hundred years old. Their exhilaration was like that of explorers unearthing a hidden treasure, especially when they respectfully tagged and released this majestic creature, preserving its legacy in the river's depths. Bizarre Fish Strange, eerie, or you could call it an alien fish. But honestly, there's nothing that can explain this weird creature. All they had, I jerked my hand back. I don't know what I have here. Is this thing gonna eat me? This fisherman in 1997 caught a freakish looking fish, something right out of the Twilight Zone. When his fishing rod suddenly jerked, a sign of a catch, anticipating a standard striper, he was in for a shock. Even the seasoned people at Game and Fish were baffled, having never seen a striper with such a head and tongue. Experts suggested a rare genetic anomaly. In the string of genetics, it uh, something crossed with something and uh, had that. But to him, it was his alien fish. Frozen frogs. Scientists have uncovered something extraordinary in the wood frog, a discovery as fascinating. This little amphibian has a survival kit that sounds really interesting. It can freeze solid and then return to life. When the temperature decreases to three degrees Fahrenheit, these frogs don't just hibernate, they transform into frog sickles. Meanwhile, their liver releases glucose, mixing with urine in their blood to form a natural antifreeze. This protects their cells from freezing damage. They enter a state of suspended animation. No heartbeats, no breathing. Just like me, you'd be surprised to know that when spring comes, they revive. I mean, they're active again. A miraculous return from their frozen state. Oldest Village This groundbreaking discovery will surely leave you astounded. A group of archaeologists discovered this ancient village in a town. So we're getting quite a few roots. 
and they revealed artifacts dating back to the Ice Age, including tools estimated to be around 14,000 years old. Among the fascinating items discovered were tools for making fire, fish hooks, and spears, pointing to a large human migration along BC's then unfrozen coastline. Remarkably, this find aligns with the long-held legends of the Hiltzuk First Nation, whose elders have passed down stories of ancient coastal villages. These tales, once considered mere cultural fables, are now backed by tangible scientific evidence. This BC village is now recognized as the oldest in North America, and scientists are eager to continue their research, hoping to trace the ancient footprints of mankind further. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This discovery in Canada shocked even the scientists, and no one exactly knew what it was. This dinosaur-like creature is considered similar to the Mokele Mbembe, believed to inhabit the remote wilderness of Canada. The discovery of this bizarre carcass started rumors and speculation. People claimed they have found a new creature in Africa which resembles a long-gone dinosaur. So, is this true? Well, considering the vast size of Earth and comparatively little exposure of humans, I would say that it might be, because if not, what else would explain it? See you next time.